My first ride was when I was two. I think we went maybe five miles an hour and went around the block and hooked. That was it. <laughs> I was hooked first ride. Jerry Cate grew up on dirt bikes and motorcycles and says there's a freedom in riding unlike any other. But ironically, it was a motorcycle accident in June of 2018 that left her disabled. I don't remember the wreck itself. I remember the last four times that I rolled on the pavement. But the actual wreck itself, I, I still don't remember. It was a Friday afternoon on I-35W in Bloomington. Jerry, riding her bike, was following her fiancé and his son in their car, headed home to Egan from Edina. I said, Dad, I think Jerry wrecked because we heard that big bang. No, no, she's too good of a rider for that. And I'm like, I'm not so sure about that. I think she might have wrecked or something might have hit her. After rolling eight times, the first drivers to stop and help were first responders in training. Diligent about wearing safety gear, Jerry wore a helmet and a $35 leather jacket, saving her head and her right arm. My helmet has got chips and dings all over the place. That should have been my skull, would have been my skull without the helmet. And I'm hard-headed. I don't think I'm quite that hard-headed. Although she didn't sustain any head injuries, she broke her wrist in three places, three of her toes, and her arm was broken so badly, it took doctors nearly 10 hours to save it. Just the level of disability that I had to go through is what hit me harder than anything else. The amount and type of things that all of a sudden I couldn't do for myself. It took me two months to brush my own hair. Constant pain is Jerry's new normal, but she's grateful to be alive. Becoming a kind of unofficial spokesperson for safety, unapologetic for her candor. And at the end of the day, you need to go home. Someone's waiting. You gotta go home. If you don't do it for yourself, you have to stop being selfish, and you have to do it for the people you love. Matt, Jerry's fiance, has helped her through the recovery process, and the two have grown closer through the ups and downs. They'll marry this fall, the accident behind them, in anticipation of the future ahead. There's going to be feelings, but there's going to be emotions, but it's not going to be everything around this motorcycle accident. No, absolutely not. Jerry says she's watched the video hundreds of times, realizing how lucky she is, but determined she'll ride again, safely and smartly, so she always makes it back home. Home was always a place to store my stuff. Now, home is my sanctuary. That's where I go to be with the people I love.